it's Debbie Dish with D. That's me. Here's a little bit of a different video. This has nothing at all to do with Weight Watchers. What's it have to do with? My puppy. I am going to make him some dog bones in my new mini dash dog bone maker. And I thought I'd show you. We'll see if it's easy. We'll see if it works. And we'll see if he likes them. So I thought I'd bring you along to my Bailey's Bones. That's what this video is going to be called, Bailey's Bones. So let's get started making these cute little dog treats for my little puppy dog. Okay, in our bowl, I have a half a cup of pure pumpkin. Now I'm following the recipe from the little recipe book you get with your mini dash. Kind of like that, gives you a little idea of what to make. These are called peanut butter pumpkin treats. So we put our pumpkin and now we will put an egg. And the funny thing is I had all these ingredients. Well, I shouldn't say that I didn't have all these ingredients. I had to go out and get no sugar added peanut butter. This way you give them something that's a little bit better for them. No sugar and stuff. And you cannot get a peanut butter that has artificial sweeteners in it. It's not good for dogs. And right here, I have my mini dash bone maker. I will bring it forward when we go to make the bones. Heating up. All right, get our egg and our pumpkin. And since I have this can of pumpkin, I'm going to make some pumpkin butter. And I will link that recipe in the cards because it's fantastic. So here I have some Skippy no sugar added peanut butter. Three tablespoons goes into the pot. He's gonna like these because he loves pumpkin and he loves peanut butter. So I thought these would be so good for Bailey. Since he's not feeling well, if you don't know, my dog had surgery on his ACL. He tore it. I know, he's like an athlete. About right at Christmas Eve, he tore it. You saw it. I just licked my finger. All right, you combine the peanut butter with the pumpkin and the egg. And in this, I have a cup of whole wheat flour. We're gonna fold that in with a fork, or I'll we'll use a spoon here. Make sure that that peanut butter. Okay, hope oh, my bowl's big enough. I'll do a little bit at a time, just in case it's not. And if you're a good Weight Watcher girl, you always have whole wheat flour on hand. And this is actually whole wheat pastry flour. It's a little bit finer. So I'm hoping it doesn't make a difference. It shouldn't. And it's said to mix until a small dough forms, and then you can just use, you can just use your hands to mix it. Notice I didn't add any salt, any sugar. Like I said, these are all the ingredients that I happen to have. Well, except for peanut butter. But hey, maybe you have a peanut butter you can use. As long as there's no sugar in it, it should be good for the dog. I'm gonna get this mixed and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you the next step. We just kept kneading it until our dough became a dough. Yes, I had to get my hands involved because that's the kind of dough it was. So here is our ball of dough. We have our cute little mini dash doggy bone maker. Let's open it up, I have a little clip here. You can see all your little dog divots. Now it tells you to spray. It doesn't tell you how much to add though. I honestly, I don't know how much to add. So the directions say, lightly coat the cooking surface with the cooking spray, add dough to the mini dog treat maker and close the lid. Hmm, bake for five minutes. All right, we're gonna have to guesstimate on this one. And I'm just gonna... It's quick enough to fill the dog divots. See, sometimes you just have to use, I guess, some common sense, but you know, Hot, so I'm just gonna... 
No more. Whatever we don't use or on the sides, the dog will still eat. Oh, this is it's too much. <laughs> So it clicks. So it says to cook for five minutes. We'll come back in five minutes and we'll see how much of a mess we've made inside. With further review, I did read the front directions. And it did say to use a teaspoon of dough per each divot. So what I did was I got a teaspoon and I measured out some dough. So I'm just gonna do it long ways like that. Do it like that. See, sometimes you have to read. I'm from the school of Denise doesn't read. So I'm going to do this. If you had a little more liquidy dough, you could just pour it in, but this is more of a stiffer dough. So I'll just do it this way. And see how this goes. This is to cook for about five minutes. So this is a little bit bigger. We're going to pull it out. Let's try it again. This is what happened last time. See, we know that's not right. But have no fear, you barely will eat them. Yes, and we'll see how these come out. Let's see how these turned out. Well, they're still a little bit big, but barely won't complain. Just pop right out. I mean, how cute are they? Nice and crispy already. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. So we just put a few more of our little balls. I have to roll them out to help it along. Should make 40. As you see, I probably don't have 40. So yeah, maybe my balls are too big. You all know Dig had, D had big balls, but we can do it for another five minutes. Click it. That's all you do. I'm going to keep doing this to ease up our balls and make it our cute little bones. As we pull these off, we'll eat them. Put it when it's a full bone. Here we go. So how cute are these? I like these because Bailey's a small dog and to have a bigger one, you know, I can give him two of these. You know, but they're so cute. He's going to love them. Can't wait to give them. Shall we have him try them? Good idea. Okay, here is our plate of dog bones. Shall we go see if Bailey likes them or not? Because if he doesn't like them, then there's really no point in making them. And you won't want to try them for your dog. So Bailey will get to be the taste tester in this video. Hope he comes over. All right, let's see if Bailey likes it. Hey, want some? Well, he gobbled it up. You want to say hi? Oh boy, you want another one? I'm <laughs> sure you do. That's Bailey. Dog approved. Well, he enjoyed them. They were a hit. So I guess we'll be making more dog bone treats for the pups. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this different type of video. And if you're thinking of getting that little dog bone maker for your dog from Dash, Bailey approves it. He gives it one paw up. Never gives anything two paws. It's one paw. Well, I don't think you can raise the other paw. But uh, that's it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up or give it a paw up if you haven't already subscribed. Bailey and I would love to have you as part of the Dish with D community. So thank you for joining me and leave me a comment about what do you think your dog might like these bones. I will talk to you again next time I see you.